Today I am going to show you how to make homemade color catchers. It is a hundred degrees out here. I don't know if you can see that. But actually it's gonna work great because it will dry fast. I'm gonna try to do this sideways because my brother will yell at me if not. Can you see that? Uh, too much. Hold on, I'm sorry. There we go. That's better. I'm going to move you back just a tad. Okay, so here it is. This is funny. Um, you know how much color catchers are in the store? It is so cheap to make them yourself. You take... Hold on one second. Half a cup of this. Fill up a container. Just happen to have Tide. No product placement. Tide is not paying me, unfortunately. Um, squish it all around. Take. I use the ends of my quilts that I cut as my color catchers. You can use flannel, felt, anything that will absorb. I cut it into about this size. And you put them in here. I'm only wearing gloves because it burns your hands and I thought I should be a good role model. Don't normally wear them. Anyway, especially if you're a nail biter like me. So bring it out and hang it on your thing. When they're dry, I throw them in this. Another tide, no product placement. Um, throw them in this and then I'll pull them out. You can reuse them a couple times and then I save the leftover water that's in there all on top of my washer and throw them back in there to reabsorb. When that's full, I come back out of here, I dry them. So I will reuse the same things until they start looking ratty or until I have a bunch of new ones and I just throw the other ones away and put them all in the new one. So that is it. Half a cup of this hot water and wring them out and throw them in your wash. They work great. So much cheaper than $3 or so for, I don't know what, 20 or I don't even know how many you get. I've been so long since I bought one. Thanks guys.